Okay, so here we are. We're we're in Snowy Coast. In Gmod. And by some miracle it's still working. Probably because I disabled all my add-ons. But as we can see here, this is not the Borealis. It is called the Royal. Royal. What does that mean? Here's more interesting. You say, well, why don't you go close to it and really check it out if you try to go close to it. Let's walk up on the Royal. That. Just the bitmap. Now you're just completely out of the map. So we can't walk around on the Royal. Now, is there another boat on the other side? No. Let's see what's this one. Wait, is that two boats called the Royal? That one boat. It seems closer. Can we get no. No, it's just one boat. Opposite direction. So we fly around through the skies. And nothing there either. But what else can we find? Is there something else here that will give us even an ounce of hope for Half-Life 3? Hmm, let's see. What's in behind here in the top secret area? We have a dead person. Saying a dead person, we can't really see what kind of dead person. We have a dead body. Somewhat heavy dead body. Boots. Um, let's see, we've got some tanks of slime. Bubbly slime. Some kind of power thingy. We've got math. Explaining said power thingy. That looks like, um, it's a little blurry here. See, are we up at the highest resolution on this? Yeah, we're native. That's as good as it gets. Okay, so this looks that looks kind of like it's a uh, medigun or something. Curves. That looks like it's Avogadro number or something like that. That's a rocket. So, weapon-y kind of stuff here. You go through the secret door. And it's just, uh... Let's see, anything in there? Standard stuff. More top secretness. The same blackboard. The anatomy of a heavy. More glowing tubes. Which glowing tube really isn't that big a deal, but the fact that it's glowing on its own and not plugged into anything seems significant. Now, what's in the spaceship? Bleh. It's... Alright, that's a little disappointing. It's just all water here. It's... It's kind of being zapped. Kind of being zapped, kind of not being zapped. I don't know, that's... view on this. We are in the beam! Just like that other meme! Does this make you scream? No, I'm not doing the whole thing again. I don't know, let's just... That looks cool. Whoop.
Alien here? No, that just takes us back here. And who doesn't like a truckload of nuclear bombs? Boy, I'll tell ya. That's just, just randomly dumped in there. And with a bunch of extra weapons and stuff like that. That's that's really cool. I like you gotta like that. Not really so much an Easter egg. As I mean you're right here in the main room. But I mean let's let's take a look at this. And these men. <laughs> Million dollar bounty that wrote these lies. Pi tech bankrupt. Destralium, a bust. Now, this is an interesting thing. I wonder who the heck this is. I have to get caught up on the comments, on the comments, on the comics, possibly. And the comments, but the comics, possibly. Do not feed the homeless, helmet wearing man living in our dumpsters. That's almost certainly the soldier, of course. This is not a secret base if you keep telling people where it is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, you know, secrets are Gorilla Wrestling Day's sign up. Just got signed by Saxon Hale. Badlands labor laws, discrimination in employment, job safety and well being. Yeah, there's lots of that. Shirts downgraded from optional to strongly discouraged. You'll all be happy to know I am not wearing a shirt currently. Notice to all employees, Captain Dan Guest lecture on eating old things this July. What does that mean? I have to Google that. Who the heck is Dan Guest? I don't I probably should know, don't know. Monkey stuff, some more math, spaceshipy things. This imply that perhaps uh, that monkey didn't die in Doomsday. We got some woo, some spaceshipy things, landing, blah blah, moon landing. I guess redacted, redacted, redacted. You gotta love stuff that's redacted. This is just... Gee, I wonder who he can blame for this. Silly Pyro. Well, it could be the soldier borrow the axe, but... More likely, Pyro. This still perplexes me. I mean, if you're gonna put a giant boat in any Team Fortress 2 kind of landscape, why would you not call it the Borealis? I mean, it's, it's such an obvious Easter egg to make everybody kind of happy. So what's the significance of the Royal? Why would you call it the Royal? Is it some sort of predecessor to the, uh, predecessor to the Borealis? I mean, is this something that was lost previously? how you zoom in and out with the camera. There was, there was a way. There you go. It's the, the left click. There we go. We want to get a nice wide shot of the Royal. So, other than that, I don't know that there's anything else here that would indicate Half-Life 3 confirmed. So, I mean, we might as well just... Okay, how did we not see this stuff going on? I guess you can't really see much from... Um... Date in progress? Because, you know, if, you were, if these two were to hang out, I would think probably at the top of a, a water tower. In a frozen setting, that would probably make some sense. You yeah, know, a little privacy, a gigantic cake, gigantic. 
Look at the detail on this cake. It's just beautiful. Mmm. -hmm. Cake. Sadly, the cake is a lie, but... This over here, this budding romance, look at the way he's looking. Whoa, look at the way he's just looking at her. Yeah. Romance about to happen. She seems more focused on the cake. He's looking confident like he brought the cake. There you have it. What you can make out of this, I, I don't know if I'd want to call Half-Life 3 confirmed just yet because the cake is so obviously alive, but with love in the air, anything can happen. This is a Black Knight. Have a great night.